it's Wolfie Chen, and I am back with another manga. New one. But, hey, wait, 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 wait. Did you subscribe? You should subscribe. Half of you guys are not watching, or that are watching, are not subscribed. Subscribe. 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 This new manga is that not so, are those not so sweet boys. Which, funny enough, is from the people who made That Wolf Boy Is Mine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you've been here since the very beginning of this, like, my channel, that was one of the very first manga that I've ever reviewed on the channel. Holy snap. And finding out, cause I saw this and was like, oh, this looks like something I'd read. Come to find out, it's from the person who made that manga. Now I know why, and I'm in love with this series too, just the same. Different premise though. Different premise. And I love it. Our main character is Midori Nanami. And Midori is working hard because her father was a gambler. And why is it always like that? and gambled away a lot of stuff. He's not part of the family anymore and whatever money they have goes to living and food and everything else. And it's sad, it's it's the worst. I mean, Nanami's mom works two different jobs. I'm gonna go with Midori. And Midori's brother, who is a middle schooler, ends up cooking the meals for them and Midori works a job as well to start paying for things on her end and with her family. Her mom would willingly work two, three, four jobs if it means that her family is okay. And Nanami would be more than willing to work Midori. It's gonna be hard. It's more than willing to work two to three jobs as well to make sure that her little brother never has to work. Well, she gets caught by her principal, because at this prestigious school, you could not have a job. Well, she gets caught, and the teacher's like, look, I could reprimand you. I could tell you that, you know what? You can't come to school anymore and that you're suspended. But, I have a proposition. Now, one of her times going to school, she had dropped her wallet, and these guys were going to steal it, and that money was, you know to live and to have a life and to, you know, make sure everyone was okay. Well, luckily, Ray, one of the boys, grabs the wallet, takes it back, is like, We're, I'm gonna hurt you if you don't because that's not your wallet, and ends up giving it back to Midori. And Midori then kind of idolizes Ray for this. Well, the principal knows Ray and the three friends. They're expelled, and their time is about to be over, so why won't they come back to school? Well, the principal basically says, get them back to school and I will get you a job. One that is school approved and that you won't get in trouble for. Midori takes that and runs with it. And that's when we meet, sorry, their names are, mm. Chihiro, or Ch Chihiro. Ray and Yukichi are Yuki Nojo. Each boy has a different family from a different background. Uh, Chihiro is the fa his family is mob bosses and the yep he's part of a gang so he's a successor to it. Ray is the successor of a big name company and gets to live alone in this apartment and his dad throws money at him. And our own, our Yuki Nojo, is the son of a doctor of a big hospital company. These boys have it all. They just don't care for the school. So after a lot, a lot of persistence, Midori does get them to come to school by giving them books and stuff to study to, and ends up giving dog treats to the corgi, there's a cute corgi, in this series. 
and because they are getting on their good sides and everything ends up helping them and becomes friends with them well they basically kind of say out loud if that if she can figure out who's been framing them for cigarettes because they're getting blamed for it they're willing to go back to school she does and almost gets like taken advantage of until the boys come and help her and end up coming back to school well now the principal kind of pulls the wool off her eyes she can have that job as long as she can keep them coming to class and coming to school and getting good grades and so the saga begins midori gets a job at a local cafe that is run by uh the president of the school's friend and where the boys constantly eat at because ray his mother who no longer rest her soul is here in this world her friend runs the cafe that was one of her best friends and guess what the, so was the director he was in that friend group so he wants to see the boys achieve and go on stuff in their life and with that you now have our story where Midori is helping them go through life and everything and is slowly, I believe, slowly falling in love with Rei. And I believe Chich uh, Chihiro is also falling in love with her as well. And she does everything to help the boys out. Where Rei gets sick, she goes over to try and help him. She tries to make porridge. She can't cook. Oh, oh, sweet Midori, why, why? You can't cook, and yet you're gonna try and kill the poor boy. She does try, it's really sweet. And of course she helps and plays with the corgi as well. And the boys come in and help as well, intermittently, and it's really sweet. They even get to the obstacle courses and everything like that, and you find out that Midori has injured her leg in one of the competitions. Because of that, she can't run the last thing that she was going to run for Ray. And of course, at the very, very end of the book, we have the inevitability of, like, you like him, but he doesn't need it and doesn't need you. I believe that's uh, his way of just making sure that he knows, or she knows that if you're going to love him, you need to be really mean. I don't know if Yuki Mojo is going to really stop her throughout this, or if he's just there to kind of push her in the direction that she needs to be for a relationship with Ray. All I know is, this is my series, babies. This is my series. Oh, oh, I'm happy to have this writer back into my life again. I love the art style, I love the story, the pacing is really awesome. If you've read This Wolf Boy Is Mine, you will definitely like this one. It is so good. I, I really like it. It's, oh, oh. I'm just happy to have them back in my life again. I don't think, and this was one of the newer ones and there was only this volume out. So it's been a while since I've read them. I read this uh, manga, mangaka's stuff. I also believe they wrote something else and I need to get a hold of that one because apparently I just missed their stuff. So more series by them in the future. So if you liked this video, definitely leave a like, leave it in the comment section below who's your favorite character and explain why because I enjoy reading. I think my favorite one other than Midori, I have to love a girl who will try everything and like will work herself to the bone for something that she wants to achieve is the dog. I'm sorry, I love the pooch. It's a corgi. What did you expect of me? It's a corgi. I love the corgi. Corgi best character. Hands down, best character. <laughs> you don't have to like the corgi. I just, I love them so much. And definitely don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different in the future. And if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, the links are below. 
And I hope that you've had a wonderful day. We'll switch on out. Bye.